Oh, it's good to be home. There. This has been a long time coming. Forty years ago, next month, I was sitting on the fourth row from the back over there in the corner at a chapel, just like you're sitting here today. It was on a Friday. And Oral Roberts introduced our speaker for the day, who was a gentleman from Africa who had a ministry uh, digging water wells so people would have clean water. And at the end of the man's message, Oral said, I believe we should take up an offering for this man's work. I thought that was a good idea except for two things. One, I only had $17 in the whole world. It was in my pocket. I had a 10, a 5, and two ones. I know none of you have ever done anything like that. And I had a date with Miss Crystal that night, and we weren't exactly a couple yet. And I was already kind of thinking a $17 date was going to look a little thin. So as the basket approached for the offering, I reached in my pocket. I got a $1 bill. And just as the basket reached me, Oral came back to the podium and said, stop. He said, somebody here needs to hear this. Either give God your best and expect his best or keep your money because you're going to need it. Well, I put my one back in my pocket and I got out my 10, tossed it in the basket. And after chapel, I told Crystal, um, our $17 date just turned into a $7 date. I didn't even know she was ever going to talk to me again. But she said, you know, we could just eat in the dining room and go for a walk. And we did. And we ended up... Thank you. And we ended up in one of the classrooms and we were talking and then she said something to me that changed my life. She said, what do you think we're going to do when we get out of college? Well, boy, there'd never been any we before, you know what I mean? So I could still see then. I hadn't gone, I hadn't gone blind yet. And I could still see, so with what little vision I had left before I went completely blind, I jumped up and wrote on the marker board, well, I'm going to start a company. And then I'm going to write a book, and then I'm going to become a millionaire, and then they're going to make movies. And I wrote down all these things, and every one of them have come true, except for one thing. Thank you. All of them came true except for one thing. And then I left ORU with an education, a degree in Miss Crystal, and we started our journey. And I remember that last thing I wrote on there. And then this last spring, I was in an advisory board meeting here at ORU, a two-day meeting. And we talked about what should ORU be doing in 2030. And they threw out dozens of ideas. And somebody brought up the idea, we should have a degree of entrepreneurship. Because that's the number one export America has around the world, is opportunity and capitalism and entrepreneurship. And you know, the meeting was adjourned, and that was one of many ideas. And all summer, that wouldn't get away from me. I just couldn't get away from it. And I remember that last thing I wrote on that marker board 40 years ago. I said, someday I'm going to find something worthwhile. And just like I gave my $10, I'm going to hand somebody a check for $1 million. So this morning, anybody ever tells you dreams don't come true and miracles don't happen, tell them you were in chapel today. Please accept our check to start the Stovall Center for Entrepreneurship, $1 million.